The minority ranking member on finance, Isaac Adongo, cautioned government against any move to collapse the NIB, charging government to rather capitalize it, given the liquidity challenges. But addressed in the media, Majority Chief with Frank Anodompe rejected the assertions of the minority. I'm sure there is going to be a lot of such malicious uh, lies being put out. I am not aware. As a government, maybe there is any going, there's going to be any sell-off. In, to use your own words, this is, there's going to be any sell-off. Um, I sure would have had that privilege information. There is nothing like that as we speak. There's going to be any sell-off or what have you. I am not aware of that. And my prime concern is that we shouldn't allow the bank to be run down by propaganda. If they have evidence that there's going to be a sell-off, why don't they put that in the public? We want to challenge the minority. If there is an intention like that, which you describe as sinister, they should come and tell us and give us evidence. The Insawa Madraji MP, however, urged government to inject capital into the bank if need be. He further accused the minority of attempt to run down indigenous banks with propaganda. How many banks do we have in our country? GCB and all the banks. There is no single bank in Ghana now who can boast and say that they haven't given a facility to any um, uh, state institution that has not been recovered fully. So why do you zero in on NIB alone? There must be a compelling reason why you say that this time we must castrate and, and slaughter NIB alone for these same reasons that many, many banks also suffer. Again, this same MD, he was a consultant, the MD for NIB now, was a consultant who helped in the restructuring of uh, GCB, Ghana Commercial Bank. You see, the man has something up there. All we need to do is that other state banks that have been giving cooperation and support, we should just extend a modicum of the same support to NIB. And I believe that they will be able to succeed.